Hi, it's Brandon from Kickstarter PPC, and in this video, we're going to be giving a full tutorial on how to set up Amazon Attribution. We're going to go into all the details on exactly what everything means, how to set up attribution tags, as well as making sure that you can track the right data from the right platform. So let's jump into it. So what does Amazon Attribution do? This is a way for you to track exactly where your traffic's coming from, whether it be TikTok, Instagram, Google Ads, Facebook, Pinterest, any platform, you can have an attribution tag set up. Now, what you have is you have a standard URL such as this. This is what you typically see on Amazon. Once you set it up, you'll get an attribution tag, which utilizes part of that URL, but tells Amazon where that traffic's coming from. So that way you are able to get brand referral bonuses. We're gonna go into that in a moment, but this keeps everything very clean and it depends. How granular do you want to go with your tracking? Now, this is the first step, really. You want to decide what you're tracking and also which channels to track. You got to figure out which ones are best for your business and make sure you set up the actual attribution tags for each one. Now, we would recommend you actually segment this out by campaign so that you have a full understanding of what campaigns are working and what aren't. We see this all the time where people set up maybe one or two attribution tags per platform run about 10 campaigns, we don't know which ones are doing well other than what Google or Facebook is saying. So if you wanna have that proper data and know what, which ones are getting sales, you need to segment it out properly. So it's pretty easy to do. We're gonna show you how to do that in a moment. But firstly, come up with your plan, figure out how much you're gonna track and also which channels you plan to track. Now when actually going ahead to set up a campaign, it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is go create a campaign Go to create manually. From here, you want to set a name. So use a name that's quite easy to know. So for example, if it's coming from Facebook, say um, Keyring FB for Facebook, and then you can put the ASIN. So just put a random ASIN in. So keeps it very simple. You know exactly what ASIN's being targeted. You know the product name, you know the channel. Keep it like that. External ID. No need to put that in. We never do it for our clients. So scroll through, pick a product here as well. And of course, next you wanna be going to the actual platform itself. So pick, say it's Google, put in Google on there, Google AdWords. And then channel, you can go to, go to search. And what you want to do is have your click through URL. So this is the key ring one that I was showing you before. Copy and paste that in. Amazon only does one attribution tag per ad group. So you do need to keep that in mind. If you do want multiple, you will have to create a separate ad group. But for this one, we'll be just running with one attribution tag. So go ahead, once that's all done, go ahead and create. So let's put a name. Once that's done, it's gonna give you an attribution tag. So you'll be able to use that attribution tag. You're gonna have the click-through URL right here and you'll be able to utilize all of that for your ads. If you are setting this up for multiple products, you can download the actual CSV file and utilize that. That's a lot easier than going in one by one and copy and pasting it in. Once you're done, it's gonna look like this on the attribution console. What you need to do is make sure all of your ads direct traffic to the attribution tag itself and then all the information will display on here. So for example, this Facebook campaign for key ring will show click through rate data, detailed page views, total add to cart, total purchases. And then there's a second column here for brand referral bonus. This brand doesn't have brand registry, so that's not unlocked. But for you, you should be able to benefit from this if you have brand registry. And that's up to a 10% brand registry bonus on every single sale you get. So it's definitely worth having, especially if you're gonna be driving a lot of offside traffic. To actually pull proper data about your reporting, all you need to do is go into the search and report section and make sure that your report category is Amazon attribution. You can choose the publisher, which can be any of that, do it by campaign, keyword or creative. You can kind of make it how you want, as well as set the date range, and from there, run the report as you would with any other search and report. This will help you make decisions on what ads are actually working, and you can either turn channels off that aren't working, as well as increase spend to different ones. You're gonna have to use a mix of Amazon's reports, as well as Google or Facebook or whatever platform you use to actually make the right decision on what's best for your brand. 
because you're not going to have it all in one place like you do with Amazon PPC. But I find that actually targeting off Amazon, you do get cheaper clicks. So it's definitely worth doing as long as you can get that good click through rate and good conversion rate as well. An important thing to note is Amazon does take time with attribution. So don't expect that on the same day you're going to have the perfect data. You might get some information come through. But as with PPC, it does take time for this to come through. So do check your Google Ads, but kind of give it a few days to make sure you're looking at the proper data first. You don't want to be getting panicked over lack of clicks or lack of sales when potentially it hasn't registered on the platform yet. We hope you found that tutorial helpful and hopefully it allows you to tap into some of those external sales. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure and stay up to date with everything Amazon PPC and FBA. We're releasing tons of content like this, so staying up to date with that will keep you fully in tune with what's going on with Amazon and some of our best practices. If you do need help with your Amazon PPC or you just don't have the time to manage it yourself, contact us below kickstartppc.com. We'll schedule an audit for you and see if we can help you out. And until the next video, hope you guys have a good one and we'll see you soon. Bye.